Hey, what's going on AP World people? We are back with video number four, topic 1.4. This one is going to focus on Latin America and even some North American Native American society. So let's get going. So we're going to start off talking about the Aztecs. And they spread to the Gulf of Mexico and to the Pacific in present day Mexico. In 1325, they founded the city of Tenochtitlan, which is present day Mexico City. And the city was on an island of a swampy lake. There were roughly 200,000 people in this city. And at the center of the city was a great pyramid. So for agriculture, they're going to focus on chinampas, which are floating gardens where they would grow their food. And this would provide crops in addition to maize. And maize is going to be a very important crop, corn, that will be grown throughout the Americas. Ditches helped use lake water to irrigate fields and surrounding areas, but they did not have wheeled vehicles or pack animals. So the government structure of the Aztecs, and like the Chinese, they used a tribute system with surrounding areas. This included giving food, cloth, luxury items such as feathers, beads, and jewelry. And city-states were arranged into provinces. So just like the ancient Greeks, there were city-states under the Aztecs. And the government was a theocracy, which means it was ruled by religious leaders. And this is something we'll come back to later in this course, this term theocracy. So make sure you are familiar with it. So contributions that the Aztecs made include a 365-day calendar. And for trade, they traded with present-day Costa Rica and California. Women mostly worked inside homes. However, some worked as priestesses and scribes. There will be several causes of the decline of the Aztecs. The first is that the tribute system put burdens on conquered people. And in 1519, we're going to see Hernan Cortez and the Spanish, they're going to conquer the Aztecs, these conquistadors. They're going to come with advanced weapons and diseases that will kill many Aztecs, particularly smallpox. Jumping over to Mayan city-states, the height of these occurred between 250 and 900 CE. Two million Mayans lived in this region. And the region is present-day Belize, Honduras, and Guatemala. And around 40 cities, ranging in population from 5,000 to 50,000 people. Agriculture, they focused on slash and burn to grow crops. And they had terrace fields just like the Incas, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Irrigation systems were used to grow corn, beans, and squash. And those are known as the Three Sisters of Mayan society. Temples, plazas, and palaces were located in the center of city-states, and temples were sometimes located on top of pyramids, so there is a religious significance to some pyramids. Government structure, again, city-states were ruled by kings, and they claimed to be divine, as many early kings did in world history. There were often wars between city-states, but it was not to gain territory, but rather to gain tribute. And losers were sometimes sacrificed as a result of these wars. Taxes and labor were given to the government from the common people, and there were no standing military. Citizens would join the military when war broke out. And powerful city-states would dominate regions. So you would see a couple very strong ones dominate surrounding areas. Religion in Mayan city-states included poly were mostly polytheistic, and they worshipped the gods of the sun, rain, and corn. Priests had significant power, and some achievements of Mayan city-states was that they could predict solar eclipses and moon phases without telescopes. They had an advanced calendar as well. And writing system and a writing system that was similar to hieroglyphics. And this was written on paper. Now the decline of the Mayan city states occurred due to wars, drought, and environmental changes that led to population decline and eventually many of the city-states being abandoned. All right, let's jump over to the Chaco. From 860 to 1130 CE, they were located near the Rio Grande River. They had little infrastructure due to lack of wheeled vehicles and large domesticated animals. They did have advancements, including astronomers, and they specialized in making turquoise jewelry, which they would then trade with surrounding areas. In 1200, the civilization was abandoned, and historians really don't know the full reasons why it was abandoned. The Cahokia is in present-day America, located near St. Louis, and this was from 900 to 1250 CE, and they would build these giant mounds. They would have a series of giant mounds, and society was stratified, and agriculture was based on corn or maize, and this spread from Mexico. All right, jumping over to the Incas along the Andes Mountains. Cusco was the capital of the Incan Empire in present-day Chile. Government structure 
was made up of four provinces, each with their own governor, and conquered people did not pay tribute, rather they gave public service. And this is known as the Mitta system. So please do me a favor and circle or highlight the Mitta system for me. And this is similar to corvée labor or forced labor labor found in China. The economy of the Incas was based on agriculture, specifically maize, potatoes, tomatoes, squash, peanuts, and cotton. And families had to turn a portion of crops over to a ruler in case of famine. For religion, we see ancestor veneration like China and also honoring the sun. And priests were often consulted prior to important decisions, whether it was war or other important decisions that had to be made. And it was believed they could interpret the god's meaning through cocoa leaves. Sacrifices were made, including corn, guinea pigs, llamas, and conquered people as well. Inca contributions you should be familiar with include quipu, which is a system of knotted strings, terrace fields, which were used to grow crops in mountains, specifically potatoes and maize, as you look at Machu Picchu here, pictured on the right. They also built extensive roads that helped unite unite the empire now the inca decline is going to be similar to the aztecs they will be conquered by francisco pizarro and disease is going to ravage the empire killing as many as 90 percent of the people in certain areas all right guys one with a quick recap we have mayan city states agriculture irrigation government structure achievements make sure you know them the chacao little infrastructure know their advancements the cahokia giant mounds and maze as well thank you guys for watching look forward to see you back here for video number five topic 1.5 we are flying through period one and soon we will be on to period two thanks for watching best of luck on all your exams especially the one in may and have a good day